Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're a returning girl, you already know what it is. Today we're going to be talking about how to make 2024 your year, regardless of what 2024 say or not. Like against her will, this is going to be our year. If you've been following me at all on any platform, you know that 2023 was a very rough year for me. So this year I'm not playing games. We're going to be super intentional and consistent with the things that we're doing to make sure that I'm having a successful and really good year period like i'm i'm not having another year like 2023 i'm not doing it so if you're also feeling like you need to redeem yourself in 2023 just keep on watching but before you do that make sure you hit that subscribe button turn your post notifications on follow your own instagram tiktok all those places i'll link them down below and let's just get into it so i broke it down by category y'all i wrote it down i broke it down i feel like that's the best way for me to actually execute this plan because i'm telling y'all i have to have a good year point blank period like it's happening you know your girl keep a sticky note so the first uh topic is self-care when i tell you self-care is so important um i feel like i definitely fell off of my self-care journey and i also break my self-care journey down into different categories as well when i tell you i break everything down i just need to be organized okay i'm an organized girl i need to be organized to think straight to execute to just do anything to live and breathe okay i want to get back on my self-care routine i want to be more intentional about it so for example like my skincare journey i have fallen off so bad that i felt like my skin was kind of moving a little bit backwards and we can't have that because one of my goals for 2023 was to have clear glass skin and i ended the year with acne acne marks dry skin redness like all of this stuff that i was just like what girl what happened we're in my bathroom and i was getting ready to do a little skincare routine and usually when i start my skincare routine i start by looking at my skin and see what i actually need to use you know if i need to use any special products whatever just based on how my skin is acting in the moment these past few months i've been suffering from some stress related acne some hormonal acne some diet related acne under the skin pimples, a lot of redness. My skin has become super, super dry now. I used to be a very oily skin person, but now my skin is dry slash combination. So it's just ever evolving. And I also have dealt with some um, scars as well. So pretty much the full package of skin issues. And I've been trying products here, trying products there, just products everywhere. And I think the only thing that I haven't done yet is professional help. So shout out to Kirology for sponsoring this part of the video. I've heard so much about them and i'm like okay i kind of want to try them out they reached out to me and they're like hey we want to work with you and i'm like y'all are exactly who i've been needing because i really do want to be more intentional about my skincare journey this year so really quick let's flash back to the sign up process y'all was super easy first question which skin goal is most important to you i definitely want to clear my acne and my acne marks and also my clogged pores i definitely suffer from that more than and wrinkles and treating rosacea so we're gonna choose that one got it and what other goals can we help with so definitely fade my dark marks i do have a little bit of texture so let's check that one and then let's treat my clogged pores where are you breaking out my face and my back also breaks out a little bit so we'll check that and see what they recommend What's your skin type? Definitely combination. Have you ever used prescription topical creams for acne skin? Yes, I have. Oh, and just like that, I have my recommended routine. That was easy, very quick. The questions were pretty simple, easy, straightforward to answer. And they take all that and formulate it into a routine for you. So I'm gonna be getting a cleanser and rich moisturizer set, emergency spot patches, acne body wash, lip balm. Ooh, the vanilla scent, they have different scents too. Let's see what the scents are. They have mint. Or even one with SPF, passion fruit. Ooh, maybe let's try the passion fruit. And then also a micellar makeup remover. I also get a custom formula made just for me based off my skin concerns. So now all I have to do is put in my payment information and y'all I'm only paying $5, that is crazy. And then just wait on my custom skincare routine to arrive. And now my custom skincare routine is still being formulated, it's still on the way y'all. So when it gets here, y'all know I will definitely update you guys. But I wanna get you guys' thoughts beforehand. Like how do you like Curology? If you've used it before, what were your results? If you wanna try it out, what are you interested in most about it? Like let me know down below. Let's chat down below and have a conversation about custom skincare routines. Oh, and if y'all want an acne journey video, please let your girl know 
y'all down below because I am interested in making a video like that, just showing y'all what lifestyle changes I had to make, just what I learned along my acne journey, even as far as like ingredients. And I love that Curology is transparent about what ingredients they put in their products too, so you know exactly what's coming to your door. But I want to let y'all know just everything about my journey, how I went from this to this so let your girl know so yeah your girl got a plan she's not playing around and I, like i said i'm being super intentional this year i'm going to reach my goal big or small okay another thing i did as far as self-care so far and what i plan to keep on doing is either vacation stay like just changes of scenery because sometimes i feel like for my mental when i'm staying in the house and i'm just cooped up in the house in my thoughts i call my house my thoughts because i feel like when i'm in here i just think all day <laughs> but i feel like when i'm just cooped up in the house it doesn't give my brain the chance to like experience new things and just I don't know operate differently in different scenarios and environments and stuff like that so a staycation I did okay and I had a blast I came back home feeling so refreshed even though I was only 20 minutes away so yeah I just really enjoyed my time at my little home away from home at the Ritz in Georgetown they did actually host me so shout out to them for having me but it was just perfect time and when I tell you I didn't know I needed it until I did it that's the thing listen to your body okay because your body will tell you everything you need to know and once you start putting it on the back burner that's when you start to burn out you start to get frustrated you start to just feel so drained because you're not feeding yourself the things that you really want so also this year i'm not telling myself no i'm not telling myself later i'm not telling myself save it for a special occasion baby we're doing it if i know what's going to make me feel better i'm doing it now of course i know not everybody is going to be able to do staycations and vacations and like expensive luxury things whatever but when i'm talking to you guys please know that i'm applying these things to big or small just anything if you feel like you want that slice of cake sis if you know it's going to make you feel better in the moment eat it even if you want to take that extra five minutes in the shower in the name of self-care do it and another kind of huge thing that i realized girl you might need that therapy yes i need to go talk to that lady because i feel like it would be so beneficial to me i've had some bad experiences with therapy in the past so yeah i do feel like i've grown a little bit more since those bad experiences with therapy and i'm like you know what yeah let's try it again let's not let those moments define therapy as a whole push those bad feelings to the side and just keep going on your journey to find your perfect therapist so that's what i'm going to be doing this year because i feel like it'll be super beneficial to me in my growth journey and just becoming a better person in general and that's all i want to do is just become a better person day by day okay and the last thing is just keeping up with my maintenance routine because i feel like I've done a pretty good job in the past few years, but I always feel like my maintenance routine just makes me feel so good, so pretty, like getting my nails done, doing my hair, things like that. So we're gonna keep that up, stay strong, consistent in 2024, because I just wanna do everything that makes me feel good because who wouldn't want to, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll even experiment and try new beauty services this year because I kind of just stuck to like my core ones, my nails, my lashes, like stuff like that. But maybe I'll try some new stuff, so stay tuned. The next category we're gonna touch on is routines and habits. This is super important because I feel like this really shapes the way that you live your life almost. Speaking of shaping my life, my planner. Get you a planner, okay? When I tell you this is self-care as well, honestly, we wanna talk about it because it really organizes your thoughts, your brain. And when you're able to just like decompress your mental, I feel like that's self-care because I be feeling so good after. This is a custom planner. You can go out and get a planner just from like Target or something. You don't have to go as hard as I did, but I'm a planner girl. Let's get into what's in my planner. I'll link everything down below. I'm gonna try to stick to the important things, but y'all know aesthetics are just gonna be there for me, okay? So I got some decorative like pages and stuff. My sections are divided as you can see. So I have scheduled lists, projects, finances, goals and ideas, and then miscellaneous. Here's where I'll just plan my week out. So I'll add anything I need to do, anything I need to post etc this is my list section where i just have some blank pages with sections on them sometimes i use it to take notes during meetings and stuff and then i have a projects section i have those same list pages here but this is where i write down all my campaigns so i'll do the title of the company and then any details i need to put the live date the date i need to submit it 
um, you know, like how many deliverables they want, stuff like that, just to keep it all organized. Then we have finances where I just log pretty much everything monthly. I do have income goals per month and also per year. So I just wanna make sure that I'm meeting those by writing it down here. And then I have a goal section with just a nice little affirmation right there to help me through. And that's the gist of my planner. Obviously I can't show you every little detail, but just showing you some broad details to help you understand how I like to break down my planner throughout the year to help me function you know to help me get through the year so those are the things that are in my planner that helps me personally on a day-to-day -day when it comes to my career and personal so yeah you can also do digital planning too you don't have to buy all of this you can just buy stuff to go on like an ipad or your phone or something but personally for me i just really enjoy that nostalgic feeling of pen to paper so here we are with my 10 pound planner <laughs> other areas that i feel like i could be better in as far as my routines go is actually being consistent with them how about that? <laughs> I feel like I'm not consistent with my morning routine. I'm not consistent with my night routine. And I feel like once you start being consistent with those, that can also help with time management, which I also need help with because baby girl's always late, okay? Baby girl's always panicking when she gotta go somewhere. Why? Time management out the window. Definitely just needs to be a little more conscious about the time that I do have to complete tasks or just even to get somewhere so that I'm not panicking, I'm not frantic, you know what I mean? Um, and then also realistic about the time that I don't have because um, I don't know y'all I be on time and then I blink and all of a sudden I'm running late like how does that <laughs> how does that work I just need to get it together like we just need to get it together these two kind of go together but just getting back on my fitness journey and then also getting back to my diet because when I tell you the back is getting a little bit too big we need to get her in check because she's becoming a problem. Getting back in the gym is super high on my list because I've realized the benefits of fitness, it really helps with your overall health. Like yes, you know, you lose weight, you look good, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really concerned, I'm concerned about it. Because like I said, the back is big. But <laughs> I really want to get back to that place that how I felt. I felt so good. I felt so confident. I felt comfortable in my body and I just missed that feeling. So it's time. We've slacked off enough. And then as far as my diet, if you know, you know, I spoke on it a while ago, but I really want to try to stick to very minimal amounts of gluten because sometimes I feel like you can't avoid it. No dairy, no red meat, and just eat as clean as possible. You know, like lowering my sugar intake and less snacking, like just making sure that I'm doing the research about the things that I'm putting in my body because I feel like that really does matter. Next category is my career, y'all. And I've been a little nervous to talk about this on camera. I've been talking about it to my friends and stuff, but I felt this disconnect with creating content. Yes. I feel this disconnect because I feel like what people want to see from me, I'm no longer interested in. I'm not even interested in consuming it, y'all, because I don't even watch YouTube anymore. I don't watch vlogs. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. I feel like I've been doing this, and I just realized this the other day. I've been doing this for 10 years, y'all, 10 years, and without a shift there's no growth i feel like in order to keep falling in love with what you do you have to have multiple shifts because if you just keep doing the same thing over and over you're going to get bored you're going to get tired of it it's going to seem like a job you know what i mean i feel like exploring these new passions that i have and exploring these new directions that i may want to go in is something that can just keep that fire inside of me alive it's not that i don't like content creating anymore it's just that i feel like i'm not creating things that feed my own soul so that i'm not even proud that I put it out and I said this a while ago about reading it's not that I did not like reading a lot of people say oh I don't like reading you're just not reading the right book reach for a few books find what feeds your soul and keep picking that up every day until you feel like this ain't feeding my soul no more let me pick up another book you know what I mean like you just have to keep going keep exploring those new passions that you find so that you don't burn out so that you don't get frustrated so that you don't fall out of love with something that you know you love so much so that's why i am trying to just find my purpose in content creating especially on youtube because i know you like longer form content i know you guys like vlogs and stuff like that but that just don't do nothing for me no more so yeah i'm gonna be trying new styles of videos this being one of them so let me know how you like this video but just trying new things on my youtube channel to see what i like what i don't like and then moving forward from there i'll still be doing vlogs y'all don't don't get too scared now don't get too scared 
but I do want to just explore different types of videos. Of course, with that comes better quality content. So definitely just putting in that work and researching on my own about new equipment, you know, just lighting cameras, microphones, stuff like that. Just anything that I know will make my vision come to life. I'm gonna go for it. And before we move on to the next topic, one, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for holding it down for 10 years. Like even if you just joined yesterday, I still love you, okay? Because you join, you subscribe, like you're here for it. I'm just so appreciative of y'all. Like without y'all, this wouldn't be nothing. I wouldn't be sitting on this little couch I got up in here, okay? So shout out to y'all. Y'all really be holding it down for your girl and y'all really be riding with me and just so supportive. I can't thank y'all enough. Comment down below how long you've been rocking with me, how long you've been watching my videos, whether it be 10 years, eight years, two months, two days. Comment down below because I feel like every time I see a returning face, like it just feels so good. Even a new face that'd be like, girl, I just found you, I love your videos. Like that makes my heart so warm. And that is what keeps me going. Hold on y'all, we gotta post because another thing I do wanna do as far as my career is growing my socials. I do feel like I've been a little bit stagnant on YouTube. I definitely hit a growth spike on Instagram y'all oh my gosh y'all been loving the hair content so i'm gonna have more coming i just needed to get my hair a break she was sick of me and that also was growing a little bit on tiktok so i'm very proud of that more girls okay and i want to have more of y'all the game needs to get bigger so i'm gonna stay consistent um and i'm gonna you know post as much as i can so y'all this photo dump is so cute <laughs> i love it y'all gotta go like this the last category is something that i actually saw in december and it was called declutter detach and delete and i was like oh yes yeah, speak to me because when i tell you i love decluttering i love deleting i love throwing stuff away i love detaching from things that don't serve me anymore and i feel like that is just so important again for your growth to become a better person to just proceed in anything honestly so let's start with decluttering i have actually been decluttering literally my entire house because again your environment matters when it comes to your mental in my opinion when my house is a mess i can't think straight so i like to be organized i like to declutter things i no longer need you know what i mean just have everything looking good because if it don't look good i'm no good we're in the container store. I'm looking like a mob wife. <laughs> um, and I'm just looking for some stuff to organize my hair drawer, well hair cabinet. So I'm thinking about adding like some drawers and stuff. Um, and just something more functional than what I have now because right now I'm just really frustrated. It looks cluttered and I can't do it. Let's go find the drawers that I have in my like makeup um, area. So I have on my zit stickers to get rid of. Blemishes. Did we walk around the store to find exactly what I was looking for and it was right behind me the whole time? Absolutely. We have a blank canvas. The only thing is that we have a pipe in the way so we just kind of have to work around that. been gathering stuff for the closet sale i know y'all love the closet sales so i'm going to be doing another one i'll link my poshmark down below i always do it on poshmark it just makes it easier for me and you and we're going to do it there on the 20th at noon so make sure y'all stay tuned if you forget just go to my instagram i'm going to be posting all the details and stuff on instagram the day before just to make sure y'all are prepared some shopping tips all of that but i gotta get this stuff out of here and i need to refresh my wardrobe because i get sent so many clothes and i buy so many clothes that i need to keep it i need to keep it you know what's the word rotate now rotating in is that the word i guess so enough about clothes and bathrooms girl let's get into nitty gritty that toxic boyfriend let him go that toxic friend let her go that toxic family member bye bye you gotta go blocked deleted all that because when i tell you who you have around you matters if they're not making you feel good when you're around them if they're draining you if they're not reciprocating the energy that you give to them you know what i mean if you're not getting anything out of the relationship or friendship or whatever 
to the left to the left like get up out of there sis letting go of people that you're comfortable with you know what i'm saying that you have had in your life for the longest time but it's time to be realistic with ourselves like does this person really care about me does this person really genuinely you know give me what i give them are they there for me when i need them you know stuff like that if they're not let it go so once you realize one that these people are actually in your way of your growth and you're serious about your growth and your shift and becoming the person that you really want to be that's when you'll take action now let me give you some tough love maybe it's nobody else that's in your way maybe it's you yeah maybe it's you sis maybe it's that toxic mindset mm -hmm. maybe it's that self-doubt yeah maybe it's the way that you think and you live your life on a day-to-day -day. that's really the thing that's in your way when you step back and you scope the scenery make sure you're scoping yourself too babes okay make sure you're not the problem a lot of people always be like oh i want to start this is just an example i want to start youtube but i just don't know where to start and like you know i don't know what to post get out your own way start there Start there because once you get out your own way, you will want to film everything. You'll wake up and be like, oh, let me film uh, my little skincare routine I'm about to do real quick. You know what I'm saying? But you're in your own way because you feel like nobody's going to watch it. You feel like it's not good quality. You feel like it's not up to par with the posts that you see on all on Instagram. Girl, you're just starting. You're just starting. Be proud of that. Just post. Once you master the art of not giving up that's when that fire is lit up under that booty and you can actually get up and go do what you've been wanting to do this whole time with no self-doubt you can walk into it with confidence there's so many tools that you can find within yourself for you to be able to walk into a new faith a new walk of life a new routine like i said like a new journey just anything it's all up in here and in here you just gotta find it and you gotta use it so yeah no more talking down on yourself no more negative thoughts no more letting people or yourself get in your way it's only positivity moving forward it's only positive thoughts your words have power y'all so make sure you're speaking life into the things that you want to achieve and the things that you want and then once you do that you'll say it so much that you kind of believe it so you start putting action behind those words and now you done manifested a great life oh my god baby we are deleting negativity all 2024 okay so yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed this video those are all the things and the tools that i will be using to make 2024 my year and hopefully y'all can use these tools too to make 2024 your year okay it's all of our years we about to just really flourish this year i can feel it i feel so positive coming into this year i've already had some hardships but i've stayed positive throughout them because of this feeling thank y'all so much for watching i really do hope y'all enjoyed if you want more videos like this let me know down below how you enjoyed this style of video i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one